All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me for this month's Hein Online webinar. Uh, this month, we're focusing on researching commercial journals in Hein Online. My name is Roxanne Marmion, and I am joined today by my colleague, Steve Roses. Steve is going to be answering questions questions um, through the chat box throughout the webinar. So if you have any questions throughout the webinar, feel free either to use the chat box or also there's a Q&A section um, that you can use. So either work should work fine. So the chat or the question and answer box if you have any questions at all throughout the webinar. All right, a quick overview of today's webinar. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, just a quick overview of Hein Online. So I know today we have some subscribers to the database already joining me for the webinar. We also have some customers who are not yet subscribers of Hein Online, so you may not be super familiar with what Hein Online has. Uh, the webinar today is going to focus on our journal content. So we did a quick survey at the end of the last webinar, uh, and a number of attendees at that webinar had requested that we do a webinar focused on commercial journal content available in Hein Online. So for today's webinar, we're going to focus on the commercial journals that are available in Hein Online, uh, as well as we're going to take a look at the Law Journal Library um, and additional content that we have available. We're going to explain how you can remove embargoes for some of our journal content. Um, with the current content subscription modules that we offer. And then we're going to do some searching examples and some other tips and tricks for using Hein Online. So first, a quick overview of Hein Online. If you're not familiar with the database, we have over 200 million pages of content available in Hein Online across 100 plus databases. So this is going to include, uh, of course, the journal content, but in, in, we, we have so much more than just journals. We have over 19,000 books and treatises. We have a comprehensive collection of international treaties, a comprehensive constitutions database, government documents, and so much more. But as I noted, today's webinar is going to focus on the journal content and our commercial journals that are available in Hein Online. Okay, a uh, quick note from Steve, if you are able to, if we could use the Q&A section for questions, for all questions today, uh, Steve isn't able to um, respond via the chat box. So the Q&A, he'll be able to help you out there. All right, so about Hein Online's journal database. So the journal database, there's over 3,000 journals available in Hein Online. You know, a, a key things about Hein Online here, all content in Hein Online is available from the publication's earliest volume. Nearly everything in Hein Online starts from the earliest volume. That includes the journals. Every journal is available from volume one. So if you're, if you're ever looking for those hard to find historic journal articles, Hein Online would have them. So fully searchable, image-based, another key feature of Hein Online, image-based PDF format. So you have the official version. So it is like taking the journal off the shelf. When you open, the, it looks, when you know, you open your journal book, that's what Hein Online is going to look like. You have the electronic table of contents, you have graphs, pictures, footnotes, where they belong. Um, over 42 million pages included in the Law Journal Library across 40 disciplines. You can see here some of the some of the disciplines covered in the journal database, criminal justice, history, economics, religion, women's studies, medicine. So really, you know, the coverage, the subject area is covered, it's, it's extensive. Now, as we continue to add new journals, we're also continuing to work with commercial publishers. So of course we have law reviews, we have university journals in Hein Online, but We've also been working a lot with commercial publishers recently. And now the great thing about if you're a subscriber to Hein Online and you have access to our journal database, with our agreements with these commercial journals, they, they typically do allow us to put the historic content in the law journal library. And then what we do is we, we add an embargo to those journals. So there might be a couple volume delay or a three volume delay embargo. 
but you can still search across those journals. So even if we can't put the current content in the Law Journal Library, we are going to index it. So when you run a search, you'll still see results for those articles. Now, what we offer, we're now offering the current content subscription modules. So with these current content subscription modules, you have the option to unlock the current content. Um, some examples of publishers that we're working with, Brill, Edward Elger, Sage, American Bar Association, to name a few. And so with each of these contracts, they allow us, again, to put the, the historic content in the journal database, but then they also allow the option for customers to um, purchase the current content subscription module. So if you're a subscriber to one of our core subscription packages, you can add on this a la carte option and then unlock this embargo and get the current content. Um, now that being said, over 90%, about 90% of our journals in Hine Online in the Law Journal Library are available through the current issue or volume with no delay. Okay, so this is talking about that other 10%, you know, not every single um, journal has this option, but we're starting to get more and more contracts that do allow this. So you can see here on the, on the PowerPoint um, what an unlocked journal would look like compared to a locked journal. So the ABA journal. If you are a current content subscriber to the ABA journal, you're going to see the full text all the way through volume 107 for this ABA journal. If you are a subscriber to one of our core packages that includes the journal database, then you're going to see the embargo, the three volume embargo. But again, it's indexed. So when you run a search, it will search across that content. So here's just a quick list of all the commercial journal offerings that we have. You can see again, ABA, uh, Institute of Art and Law, Brill, both journals and yearbooks, Hackney Publications, Hackney focuses on sports law, McGill Institute of Air and Space Law, Paris Legal Publishers Package. Uh, we have Edward Elgar, Sage, uh, the preview of US Supreme Court cases, the current index to legal periodicals. Uh, all different commercial publishers that we work with. Um, next up, just some tools and features, and these are available across you know, all of Hein Online. And I am actually going to switch over to Hein Online in just a moment, just to go over some of these um, tools and features in more detail. So artificial intelligence tools that we have. This is gonna be things like our Pathfinder search tool, our keyword search tool. Um, Scholar Check, so many great ways you can use Scholar Check to aid in your research, to help out with your research here. Uh, Scholar Check would be things like citations on a page. So you're reading an article and it cites to another article. You can just click that hyperlink and it'll open that article right up for you. Um, you can sort your search results by number of times cited, number of times accessed in a 12 month window. Uh, you can see how many times an article has been cited. My Hein. Now, I highly recommend anyone with access to Hein Online. If you have a subscription to Hein Online, I highly recommend you create a My Hein account. It is a free tool that anyone with access to the database um, can can use and utilize. And especially if you are if you are going to subscribe to one of these current content journal modules, you will definitely want to sign up for My Hein so that you can create ETOC alerts so you can be notified when the most current issue of that journal is released into Hein Online. So My Hein, so many great things you can do with My Hein. You can create your own account right from the welcome page of Hein Online. And I will show towards the end of the webinar, I will show you how you can do that. And again, journals from around the world, uh, 87 countries to be exact. So we have journals from 87 different countries. Again, we're constantly adding new journal content to Hine Online. So 3,000 journals, but about you know anywhere from five to 10, we try to add new a month to Hine Online. So just if you have any interest in the commercial journals and what we offer, uh, what's available in each one, you know, what the cost would be to add on the commercial journals, feel free to email us after the webinar, and we'd be happy to provide you with more information. Um, if you are not yet a subscriber to Hine Online, and you'd like a free trial to the database, please feel free to reach out. Um, if you haven't had a trial, 
uh, recently, or if you're, you know, never tried Hein Online before, we do offer three months of unlimited campus-wide access, IP and proxy authentication um, available. All right, so I am going to switch over to Hein Online now. All right, so now what we're looking at is the Hein Online homepage. So HeinOnline.org. And what I want to show everybody here, I want to show you how you can actually look up title lists for each of those commercial publishers that we work with. So you can see the list of journals that we include with each database. So let's go to databases here. So from HeinOnline.org, we can see databases from the dropdown. So I'm going to click on journals and periodicals. Now, as I scroll down here, I'm going to see Law Journal Library. Um, so that'll be, that's our main journal collection. If you're a core subscriber, you would have access to the Law Journal Library, as well as all the journals included in there. Um, but then you can see the list of all the commercial publishers we work with, ABA, Brill. So let's just take a look at Brill. I'm going to click on Learn More. And then from this page, as you scroll down here, you'll actually see a list of all the titles included. Now with a public with Braille, with our agreement, again, all of these journals are going to be available with an embargo in the Law Journal Library. And then you also have the option to remove that embargo by subscribing to uh, that a la carte database. Okay, so that's how you can find a list of the journals in each of our agreements with the publishers. All right. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to log into Hide Online. So right now what I'm looking at, this is my Hide Online welcome page. So if you're a subscriber to Hide Online and you log into the database, uh, this is going to show you when you look at the screen, everything that you're subscribed to. So if you're a subscriber, you log in, you're looking at your welcome page. If you see it listed on here, that means that your account is subscribed to that content or that material. Okay, so a couple ways you can browse by category uh, or by name. So let's say I'm just specifically looking to see what journal content does my subscription include. I'm going to click on journals and periodicals. And then you can see here a list of all the journals that journal databases that I have within my subscription to Hide Online. Okay, so now I want to move into uh, just I want to show a couple things you can do here with this one box search. So this one box search on the top of your screen here, there's so many things you can do within here. You can search for a catalogs for a publication title. You can do a full text search. You can retrieve a document using a citation. Um, I did have some uh, feedback from the last webinar that um, about the citation format finder. So I want to just show how we can utilize this one box to quickly retrieve a citation within Hein Online. Um, the first thing I want to show here, you can utilize this one box search to, to retrieve a or to, to perform a catalog search. So if there's a particular publication and you want to know if it's available in Hein Online and what the coverage would be in Hein Online, you can just run a quick catalog search here. So I'm going to search here for um, the Brill publication, Global Journal of Comparative Law. I am going to use quotes here, um, just so I'm searching for the phrase Global Journal of Comparative Law. Now, from the drop down, you can see all the different uh, options you have here. Author, so if you're looking for publications by a particular author. Uh, title, now title would be an article title, not an entire publication title. So right now, what I'm looking for, the publication Global Journal of Comparative Law. So title, again, that's an article title. Uh, citation and catalog. So I am going to search the catalog real quick. I'm going to run a search for this publication. All right, I can see we have it available in Hein Online. You can see the different collections it's available in. It's available in the Law Journal Library. So again, if you're a subscriber to one of our core packages and you have access to the Law Journal Library, you do have access to this journal with an embargo. Um, then you can also see Brill journal collection. So this is also available in the Braille journal database. So now when we're looking at the coverage here, you can see full text is available through 2018. Now that would apply to subscribers of the Law Journal Library. 
Um, you can see that we, again, we index the current content as well. So when you're running a search, you know, you will see the search result. You just won't be able to access the full text of the current content without that current content subscription. So I'm going to click on the journal title here because on my subscription, the one I'm looking at here, I do have access to the Brill database. You can see how when I click on volume 11 here from 2022, I do have access to the full text for the newest articles. So um, you can just see there how you can actually see, you know, what when you're looking for a journal in Hein Online and what the coverage would be. So now going back here to the welcome page. I am going to click on advanced search here. So underneath the one box search, you're gonna see advanced search. Um, when I scroll down here, search the catalog, you can see how you can search across different metadata fields here. Uh, publication title, uh, author, publisher. So let's say I just wanna see all the content that we have from Edward Elgar. I'm just gonna search across publisher for Edward Elgar, run my search. And then it'll just give me a list of all the journals by Edward Elgar, published by Edward Elgar. All right, so that's a catalog search. Uh, now quickly, I wanna move on to how you can quickly retrieve a document using a, a citation finder. So a couple ways you can retrieve a document by citation. Um, if you, you can just copy and paste right into this one box and run your search. Um, if you know your citation and you just wanna type it in, I look for an article from the journal Global Governance, uh, volume seven, page 131. As I type in again, you're gonna have your different options here. I'm gonna click citation, search. And then you can see how we can quickly retrieve our article. Now, from the welcome page, if you, if you don't know what the official citation is or abbreviation for a journal is, we do have a citation help tools under advanced search. So I'm gonna click advanced search again here. Citation format guide. So over here next to search, you're gonna see citation format guide. So when I click here, um, and again, when you're running your citation search, it's gonna search across every publication in Hein Online. The citation format guide is gonna give you an A to Z listing of every single journal in Hein Online. And um, so from here, you can just browse down A to Z listing. Find the journal you're looking for. Let's say I'm looking for something from the ABA journal, but I don't know what the official abbreviation is. When I click on ABA journal, it's going to fill in the citation. And then I can just put in my volume page and I'll again, retrieve my citation. All right, uh, going back here to the welcome page. Um, so now I wanna get into some searching examples. Uh, I'm gonna show how you can search both uh, across all subscribed content in Hein Online, or if you wanna just filter across just the journal database or search within the Law Journal Library, because we do have some, uh, some additional features, search features uh, that you can find in the Law Journal Library. Okay, so using this one box search here, when you run a full text search across this one box search here, um, it's doing Boolean searching. So you're actually searching the OCR um, behind the image. So we use OCR technology to scan each image. Um, and then when you run your search, you're searching the full text behind that image. We do have a really great search help guide. So if you're not familiar with our Boolean operators or just want some tips and tricks for searching in Hein Online. So right under this uh, one box search here, you have the search help, click here. It'll give you our search syntax guide. Again, very helpful if you're not familiar with Hein Online searching. Um, so for this example here, so we're going to do some research on climate change and um, greenhouse gas emissions. So for my search, I'm just going to put in a couple of phrases here. I'm going to search for climate change and greenhouse gas. And, and notice all my Boolean operators are all in caps. And then I'm going to use the wildcard search here so that I can search across um, all different formats of the word emissions. And so right now in my search, what I'm gonna be searching with this search query here for the phrase climate change, the phrase greenhouse gas and any format of the word emissions, emit, uh, in a section of a document. A section 
if we're searching in the journals, a section is going to be an article. So it's just looking to find these phrases and words together in an article. I wanna narrow my search here. So over to the right-hand side, if I click on all databases, you can actually narrow your search just to journals. So from my search query here, I'm gonna select journals and periodicals. I'm gonna click submit. I'm gonna run my search here. And so I'm just limiting my search now across only journals. So again, if you if I didn't select journals, it's going to search across all of your subscribed content. So that would include, you know, those commercial journals we work with, their historic content is in Hein Online. So you are going to, this search is going to run across those publishers' journals as well. All right, so a couple ways. So we have 17,000, over 17,000 results here. A couple ways you can filter through your results. On the left-hand side, you're always gonna have your facets. So let's look at the facets here, collection library. So you can see here, 16,000 from the journals. We have over 700 from the Braille Journal Collection. Um, Edward Elgar, we have over 300 results. You can see the different SAGE uh, publications, over 200 from SAGE Legal Review Package. And if you only wanna look at those results from let's say Braille, you just, just unselect you know, all the other databases and then it'll show only those results. Um, different Pathfinder subjects, so different subjects that have been identified using artificial intelligence. Uh, so if there's a particular topic or subject you're looking for, you can narrow it down further that way. Uh, section type, location, particular location that you're focusing your research on. You can narrow it down by country. Um, you can see different cities also. So it just really helps you to narrow it down to exactly you know, the location you're looking for. Organization, uh, person, are different options to um, you know, get the most relevant on point search results. You can always search, search within. So let's say you wanna search within to find uh, additional content, search within this down arrow here, that'll allow you to put in additional keywords. So it'll only search across those 17,000 results and you can search within for additional results or different or to narrow down your search results. Um, on the right hand side over here next to uh, your result page, you're going to see a couple different options here. Let's, I'm going to quickly run through these. Download PDF. So download PDF, if you just want to quickly download the article, click the red icon and it'll download the entire article for you. So it'll default to the section of the document. Again, a journal section is going to be an article. So that's just the quickest and easiest way to quickly download this article. If you only wanna download a few pages, if you have a QR code reader, um, you can use this down arrow and you have additional download options here. Um, I think this one is very important. If you really quickly wanna email this to either yourself or you wanna email it to a colleague, click the email icon, the, click that envelope here. When you click here, you can email this up to 10 different people and it'll email them a link to the PDF the great thing is they don't have to have access to Hein Online to be able to open that article. They have seven days to click that link and open that PDF. So again, this is a great way to send, quickly send an article to somebody. Um, put a little note here because it will say from Hein Online support. So you just wanna put a quick note, hey, I thought this article would be of interest or here's the article you were looking for. Um, so just a quick and easy way to share an article with somebody. This last bookmark here, this all ties to my Hine. If you want to bookmark articles to your my Hine account, this is what the bookmark would be for. All right, some sort by options here. So as I noted, um, Scholar Check, there's a number of different sort by options that you can utilize with Scholar Check. You can sort by number of times cited by articles, number of times accessed in 12 months. So what's trending? What are other Hine Online researchers using or reading about? Um, on this topic. So you can see the number of times accessed by other Hein Online researchers. So it's all, everyone using Hein Online, it's a 12 month rolling window and it just shows you, you know, what is the most read article uh, meeting this search criteria in Hein Online. So a great way to find, you know, what's trending or what is a, an article other people are reading. This first article here, um, the Paris Agreement uh, accessed almost a thousand times in the last year. Um, one other way you can actually sort that I want to note here, most cited author. So I wanted to spend a minute and show um, and just show the author profile pages that we have available. Um, so you can actually sort your search result by the most cited author. Okay, so this first article here by Cass Sunstein. Um, 
So he, Cass Sunstein would be uh, the most cited author for this search result. And if you, anyone who has an article in Hein Online, so if you have written an article, if you have a colleague that's written articles that are in Hein Online, they would actually have an author profile page. Uh, to get to the author profile page, I'm just going to click right here on the author's name. So I'm going to click Cass Sunstein here, and then that'll actually open up the author profile page for you. Now these, um, you can, if you find you have an author profile page in Hine Online or a colleague does and they want to edit their profile page, um, over here on the right hand side of the screen, we have an edit option here. So click here, you can add a Wikipedia page. So this is a link right to the Wikipedia page. Um, you can set up notifications. So I really like the notification tool here because let's say I wanna know new content. If there's a particular author you're interested in their content, set up an alert. So then you can get an email every time they publish a new article in Hide Online. Um, if you are the author and you wanna know when people are citing to your content, create an article citation alert. And then you'll get notified uh, anytime another article cites back to your article. Case law citation alerts, um, accessed alerts. If you wanna see how many times your articles are being accessed, uh, similar articles. So anytime a similar article to yours is published. To sign up for these alerts, we're going to enter our email address here, uh, sign up, set up the email alerts, and then you'll start to receive those email notifications. Um, you can also link. If you want to share this with that, uh, look at my author profile page, check out the link here. This is a, a public profile link. So you can actually link this, uh, send this link to anybody and they'd be able to see your pro author profile page. A um, couple things you can see here, all the different Hein Online works that published by this author. So as we scroll down here, uh, cited by articles, how many articles have been cited by, scholar rank, um, average citations per article. So a lot of really great um, uh, features of these author profile pages. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show real quick, I know we're running out of time here. Um, I wanna go right into the Law Journal Library now. So whenever you are searching in the Law Journal Library, it is going to search across all journals that are available in all of Hine Online, whether your account has access or not to those journals. So, and there are additional couple additional search features that I do want to show in the Law Journal Library. Okay. So first one thing I want to show here, browse by. So you can always browse the journals by title. And that'll browse all journals in Hine Online, Pathfinder subjects, which I'm gonna focus on in just a moment. And then at the end here, I do wanna show author profiles. So if you ever wanna see all the authors that we've identified for um, your institution or your university, you can actually browse all the authors linked to your institution. And if there are more that we don't have, you can always email us and we can link those up for you. So you can just see author profiles by institution, I'll just click on Arizona State here, and then it's going to give you a list of all the different authors um, that tie to that institution or that university. All right, moving back here. Uh, so I want to show how you can utilize Pathfinder, our Pathfinder tool. I know we've talked about this in past webinars, but it's such a great resource that I do want to just spend a minute showing the Pathfinder tool here. So we used human creation and artificial intelligence to subject code every single article in Hein Online. Tens of thousands, thousands of articles have been subject coded using this Pathfinder tool. So using Pathfinder, you can, you, you can use the Pathfinder subject tool to search, to run a search across um, articles on a particular subject area. So I'm gonna click Pathfinder subjects here. And it's also a great way to kind of see, you know, if you're, if you're trialing Hein Online or if you're newer to Hein Online, and I wanna see everything on a particular topic or subject, um, this is a great way to see all the articles we have on that topic or subject. Um, so you can search, you know, text if you want to expand all and do a control find and find a particular subject area. You can also do graphical, if you prefer to um, look this way. So I'm going to, in this search example here, again, I know we're running out of time. So just a couple more minutes here. Um, I'm going to do some research on water law. So I'm going to click on applied sciences. And then I am going to click click on land and resources here, and then I want to click on water law. So when I click on water law, this is going to identify every single article in Hein Online focused on the subject of water law. We have over 32,000 articles on water law. 
Um, for my research, I'm just doing some research on uh, the, the right to clean and safe drinking water. So I'm gonna run an additional search within these articles. To do that, if I click this down arrow here, I can run a search within those 32,000 articles. So I'm gonna do a full text search for clean, and then I'm gonna say, or safe, and, and then I'm gonna say uh, water. So it's gonna search for, oh, I'm do full text here and water, and then run my search. So it'll search those keywords, it'll search those keywords um, within those 32,000 articles. And you can see here how we can really narrow down our search. So again, location, this is where maybe a location or country published would come in handy if there's a particular location that you're searching for. Um, you can see this first one, uh, clean water right in California. Um, as we scroll down here, um, the safe drinking water from Pace Environmental Law Review, right to water in India, uh, rectifying the Safe Drinking Water Act, um, and then again, if you wanna narrow it down by location, pretty easy to do that. Uh, now over on the right-hand side, you're gonna see the, uh, you know, how many times it's been accessed, how many times it's been cited. Um, so let's say I wanna see these, okay, this article seems somewhat relevant to me. I wanna see who has cited this article. So if this article is very relevant to me, let's see the articles that have cited it. Click this link, it'll open a new window for you and it'll give you a list of those articles that have cited it. All right, so I have these three articles. Now I quickly wanna email them to myself so that I can look at them later today. Really easy to email them. Or let's say I'm working on a project with my colleague, Steve, and I wanna share these articles with Steve because I think they're very relevant to our research. Um, what you can do here from the search results page, select the different articles. And then from the drop down here, uh, you see my hind options, click email selected results save email, and then you can email this up, again, up to 10 people, you can email a link to these articles. So just a quick and easy way to share search results if you're ever working on a search project with somebody. Um, and the last thing here real quick, I do wanna point out the keyword search. Uh, the keyword search is just another great search tool we have in Hein Online. That, that's gonna use artificial intelligence. You can put in any keyword that you can think of um, for your search topic. You're gonna find that under advanced search. So underneath the one box search, you're gonna click advanced search here. On the right hand side, you're gonna see the keyword search builder. Click keyword search builder here. Again, if you're doing research, let's say we're doing research on the global energy crisis, okay? Any keyword you can think of, um, energy crisis, uh, and this is completely different from we'll say we're focusing on oil and gas shortages. So we're just gonna put in any keyword. You can weight it. What is the most important word or phrase in your search? So weight it, um, one is uh, the least, five is the most important. Um, you can narrow it by year. So I'm only focusing on current content right now. So I'm gonna just put in 2021 and 2022 and run your search. And again, it's gonna use that AI, the artificial intelligence to identify any on point relevant articles for that research. You can continue to add additional keywords, um, remove keywords if you're not finding what you're looking for. Um, so just another really great research tool that we have available in the Law Journal Library. Um, so my hind, I know I mentioned my hind, top right hand corner of the screen, you're gonna see my hind profile. When we click up here, this is where you can create your own my hind account. Again, this is so, such a great resource for saving searches, making sure you're up to date, you'll get a notification when something new comes out for your search results. Um, you can save bookmark articles. And then uh, the other great feature is creating those ETOC alerts. So you get notified when new content is published for a particular journal. Okay, so again, my hind, what is my hind? A great user's guide on there to show you how to set up an account and all the different features you can use with that. All right, so that is everything I wanted to cover today. I'm sorry for uh, going a few minutes over, but now I wanna open it up to any questions and answers we have. Uh, I'll take a quick look here and see if we did get any questions throughout the webinar. Um, I see that Steve has answered a number of questions already. Uh, 
So I do see we have a question here. Is there an option to refine the search result or articles by most cited items? So um, I think Steve has answered, but no, there is no way to actually uh, refine, but we can sort by most cited. So again, in your search results page here, we can sort by the most cited uh, number of times cited by articles. So when we do our search result, and we cite by the number of the most cited. Again, that'll bring up the most cited articles first. So you can just kind of look through the first, um, you know, your first section of search results and see all those most cited articles. So it is a great way to find, you know, okay, what are other people citing back to? What is relevant? So um, any other questions here? And then I believe um, I can, if anyone would like to ask a question, I can open it up. Um, so I'll look at the attendee list here. I believe if there's a um, raise hand option and then I can uh, just allow uh, anyone to talk or ask a question. All right. Um, yeah, absolutely. You can uh, load this recording on your LibGuide. Yep, we'll send out. You'll probably receive it today or tomorrow. You'll see, receive, if you attend it today, you'll receive a recording of the webinar. Uh, and you can, you can absolutely share that. It'll be available on our YouTube channel as well. And then you can share that to your LibGuide. So absolutely. So thank you everyone so much for attending today. I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. And uh, if you think of any questions after the webinar, please feel free to uh, email us anytime. Um, I'm actually, I'll just put real quick in the chat box. I am going to put my email, make sure everyone can see that, as well as um, Steve Rose's email. So again, if you have any questions, please, please feel free to email us anytime and ask. So thank you very much, everybody, for attending today.